Hi everybody. Hi everybody. Sorry that it's well. First of all, hello. Hi. Um, happy sorry. Friday. Yes, happy Friday. It's not our usual live day, um, but we have had a very very busy week. It's Chris here, by the way. Yeah. And Amanda. Yeah. So, yeah, it has been a busy week. Um, for anybody who was there on Tuesday, spa life happened in Coventry. Um, really really good event. Great to see so many industry leaders. Um, so many great talks, great networking. So to everybody that I saw there, hi. It was nice to see you and. Um, for anybody who hasn't been, you can find information out about it online, but it's a really good event. Yes, yeah, so we know lots of you were saying that you watch our lives, so thank you very much yeah, for watching them. Yeah, were saying they watch them, so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're just going to cover a few topics that have come up over the week. Um, some really interesting news stories that we've had. Mm. Um, so first of all, um, there's the news that 45% of salon owners have considered shutting their business. Yeah, which is a really scary mm. statistic. And actually, um, from this report, which was provided by Forrest, um, it also said that many of the salon owners felt this way around three or more years into running the business, which is really, really interesting. So it'd be good to know if you've ever felt that way. Did you feel that way three years in? Um, how did you kind of overcome that kind of challenge of feeling mm. like you want to give up? Because what was really interesting in this report is that it said that for most salon owners who felt this way, the biggest challenge that they had was finding good therapists and managing staff, which we know is like a really big, serious issue in the industry at the moment. The recruitment crisis just shows no signs of slowing mm. down. So, um, yeah, it's just it's a sad fact, but... Yeah, it's, it's sort of one of those where I think it's... I think, I think there's obviously a lot of reasons that they've stated mm -hmm. as well in this in this report as to why obviously the economy and rent rates I know a lot of people have um, been talking about that when we had our story last week about um, sort of therapist wages for example I know yeah. a lot of salon owners were then coming back and saying we would love to pay people mm -hmm. more but you know rent rates are so high and, and taxes and business rates yeah, yeah so. so obviously there's a lot going on and obviously how it all comes in together so mm. yeah do let us know um any of your thoughts or sort of how you overcame that i know a few people have already mentioned on facebook about that but it'd be great to hear yeah i mean sadly 19 percent of people as well said that they felt like shutting shop because they felt like their passion for the mm. trade had turned into a chore hopefully none of you guys feel like yeah. that you know we want to see the British high street still thriving with beauty salons and spas and skin clinics and you know so yes yeah. so fingers crossed that um you know obviously they that not all of those salon owners did close their their salons mm. as well obviously it's just just they felt that it's way. that it's that feeling mm. so yeah um yeah and then in slightly more serious yes. aesthetic news um Basically, the British Association of Cosmetic Nurses has proposed a motion that regulated healthcare professionals should not train beauty therapists in injectables. Now, obviously, yes. this debate has been going on for a long time. Um, the association is all, also recommending that its members don't supply any prescription-only products such as Botox for use by therapists or other non-healthcare professionals. Mm -hmm. um, you can read the full story on that on the website and there's a bit more information about it, but yes, this debate is still ongoing. Yes. Um, and yeah. I mean, re the regulation hot topic, I mean, that's just been going on for, for so long now, and mm. we know. And I think what has been interesting, you know, we've, I've seen, we put this story up on our Facebook and quite a lot of people were actually saying they were in favor of, mm. of the, what the BACN's motion suggests. So it would be interesting to see, you know, do, do, do you agree with it? Do you think that they, they should not, um, they, they should introduce a ban? Do you think that it isn't right? Do you think mm. there needs to be more discussion? I mean, obviously it's something that has been going on for so long. I think it is something that we are obviously waiting to see what happens and with the election. Mm, There's obviously so much going on politically, it sort of has been pushed back. Yeah. I mean, Chris made a really great point about there's been a lot of debate about this subject on our Facebook and our Instagram mm. pages and also with the previous story as well. So please do join in the debate, share your views. We'd love to hear what you think about both of these things. Yes. And one good, uh, one thing that we, I think, really want to shout out and just say thank you to people mm. for is um, we have been covering as... Um, I'm sure you've seen our anti-modern slavery campaign that we're looking at starting up and we have a feedback form on the PB website it's the link in our bio on Instagram at the moment mm. um, we've had well over I think it's about 200 or more yeah, responses already mm. which is just incredible and it's so great to see the industry coming together 
and really, you know, fighting against this and this, mm. this horrible thing that happens. So we would love to have more feedback. We're looking at the Definitely. next steps. Um, we're seeing what kind of things yeah. and how the campaign will take shape. Yeah, but so please do, if you haven't already, please fill in the form. Tell us your thoughts on how we can help tackle modern slavery in the nail industry. And once we've had all of our feedback, we're going to collate some ideas and then we're going to start rolling some stuff out. So yeah. watch this space. Yes, but that is all that we are going to cover mm. this week. So thank you very much for tuning yeah, in. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, so hopefully um, there might be a very special live maybe or something coming next week as well. So that's yes. a little teaser. <laughs> you might see my face again. Yes. <laughs> um, but we we will see you next week, everybody. Yeah, thank and thank you. you very much. Have a good weekend, guys. Yeah, have see a great weekend. Bye. Bye.